come to the front of your mat. Bring the feet together. Toes touching, ankles touching. Hands to your heart center. Shoulders back and down. Focus your gaze in a point in front of you. And interlace your fingers and your thumbs, keeping your index fingers up. Bring your arms up towards the sky. Stretch up. Your upper arms are touching the sides of your head. And stretch side to side. Just feeling your feet onto the floor, feeling your ribs expanding. Now extend upwards and look towards your hands. See if you can arch back. And bring your hands back to your heart center. Palms together in namaste. Bring your right knee up towards your chest and bring your right leg back. So your right foot is aligned with the heel of your left foot. Bring your arms parallel to the floor and look towards your middle finger. Warrior two. Five breaths in your warrior two. Check that your arms are at the same level. Lift your back arm. That's it. Good. Look that your front knee is over your hip and you can see your big toe and your little toes are covered by your knee. Breathing, keeping the core muscle engaged. When you've done your five breaths here, bring your back hand onto your back leg, front arm overhead. Keep bending the front knee, opening the chest, turning a little bit towards the ceiling, and feeling the stretch on your ribs, on your collarbones. Let's do five breaths here. Two more breaths. And come back into your warrior two. We are trying to use the strength of the front knee, front thigh. So keep it there. Don't let it go. Bring the front forearm, left forearm onto your left leg. And bring your right arm up. Looking up towards the ceiling. Trying to have one line between the outer edge of the foot and your fingertips. Breathe. One more breath. And come back into your warrior two. Front leg has not moved. Five more breaths here. Whenever we're putting pressure on our bones by using our muscles, we are strengthening our bones because more bone density is created. One more breath here, and extend the front leg, and reverse triangle. Bring the arm up, breathe, feel the front leg having this lovely release. And bring yourselves back to the front. Shake your legs, feet together. Interlace your fingers and your thumbs, Shapana Mudra. Inhale, arms up, stretch up towards the sky, and tilt, 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 and tilt to the sides. Then extend up, look towards your hands, breathe deeply. And bring your hands to your heart center, left knee, hands up, and bring the left leg back. So the front foot is facing out, the back foot is cutting in the middle of the front. Your right arm comes forwards, the knee is aiming towards the outer edge of the foot. Check that both arms are in the right position. Keep breathing, keep your belly in, and your shoulders are relaxed. Your gaze is firmly towards your middle finger. Vida Vadasana 2, Warrior 2, cultivate the qualities of the warrior. 
and bring your back hand onto your back leg. Turn your palm on your right hand up. Keep bending the front knee. Bring the arm overhead. Sun warrior. Breathe deeply. Feel the front leg getting stronger. And your ribs opening up. And bringing yourselves back into your warrior two. Bring the right forearm onto the right thigh. Left arm overhead. Breathe deeply. And come back into your warrior two. Five breaths here. Keep bending the front knee, shoulders relax. And extend the front leg, bring the arm up, reverse triangle. Feel a lovely stretch on the front of your leg. And coming back to centre, bring your hands and legs together. Shake your legs, shake your arms. Good. Now, you will have three options. Either hold your forearms with your hands, or bring your hands namaste down, or bring your hands namaste up. What is important, whichever option you choose, is that your shoulders are open. So if you have your hands in namaste and your hands are separating and your shoulders are going forward, that's no good. Try with your hands in namaste down or holding onto your elbows. Either of those options are perfect. Good. Bring your feet hip distance apart and walk your right foot back. Still keeping both feet parallel to the outer edges of the mat. So yes, bring the back heel out a little bit. That's it. And both legs are straight. Your hips are facing forwards. Inhale, open your chest. Engage your abdomen and come halfway. Breathe deeply and try to have your neck long. Your gaze is just ahead of you. We're not looking up. And then see if you can come a little bit further down. Wherever you can reach is perfect. Keep your shoulders up. Keep going. Feel your feet firmly on the floor. And keep your abdomen active. And inhale, come all the way up. And bring your legs parallel to each other. Shake your legs. You can change the position of the hands. Maybe you want to try it on a step down or on a step up. Whichever you choose to do. The main objective is not just the stretch of the wrists, but the shoulders in, back and down, and the stretch on the legs. Bring the left leg back. And check that your feet are parallel to the outer edges of the mat. They are train track. Open your chest, looking up. Exhale, engage your abdomen. And come halfway. Feel your neck long. And if this is enough, you should stay there. If you want a little bit more, you let your chest come further down towards the floor. Keeping your hands together if you're in a mistake, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Keep breathing. One more breath. And push your feet into the floor, coming all the way up. And release, shake your face. And we're going to come onto the ground. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, double jump back into plank. 
lower into Chaturanga, Abdhava Cobra. Downward facing dog. Look towards your hands, lift your heels, bend your knees. And jump into sitting. And come into Shavasana. Time to release and relax. Standing your body. And letting any tension that might have been built up. Letting any tension out. Release. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you want. 